Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 385. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And today, oh my goodness, we have a bunch of news. We have uh, great news, amazing news, super special, awesome news. Like, wow, there, there is a lot to cover here. And um, one of them is close to my heart and it's really personal. So anyway, let's hop right into it with the first one. Uh, first news would be... <coughs> uh, Halls of the Turnip King Kickstarter includes original My Little Pony comic art reward tier. So, if you got no idea what's going on here, um, this is a Kickstarter project by um, comic book artist Brenda Hickey, and she wants to fund or she wants to well. Fun is the right word. Yes, she wants to fund a what you call this co- comic book or graphic novel, and one of the tiers here is a um, original art print for the My Little Pony comics. Um, it says here is like what a hundred and seventy five mystery brony special. So you'll get a random uh, page, but let's check it out. <coughs> so what she wants is um about what fourteen thousand two hundred and twenty. That's her goal. Um, there's twenty six days to go. When this episode comes out, you'll just have to minus uh three to four days. Um, but it seems that it's going along fine. And um, if I do remember right, um, the comic itself. Is there's two versions. Uh, one version here, uh, I think there's an example. Give me a second. Yes. Uh, the issue edition and the graphic novel edition. <coughs> I don't really understand or get it because uh, the graphic novel, I think this is the one. So uh, issue edition should be online, something like that. So um, there's additional change to make it worth your while so you can support it and you know what it's something awesome like you guys who are interested in this and who has the extra cash to um, give out should support and it does say here about um, what really goes behind the comics like printing costs for the books for every book that they're going to do is going to cost 7500 Canadian dollars um, shipping costs is going to cost them about 10,000 Canadian dollars Kickstarter fees yes uh, not 100% of the fees from Kickstarter go sorry not 100% of the Kickstarter funding goes to uh, Brenda but uh, a percentage of it goes to Kickstarter and the, they count it out about 944 and that goes for processing fees too but uh, she's gonna make it worth your while so with $25 you'll get an early bird special um, you you what uh, 25 lucky bikers will have will, will save five dollars off their copy so that's good the book itself will be $30 a signed copy would have be $35 I personally will go for this one because I do like the exclusivity. Um, if you want more, you can get a signed copy with some sketch cards. So that's cool. And um, more uh, signed books plus comic issues. And <laughs> oh, the 100. Perfect for retailers. Get five copies of the book and save up to fi- $50. So yeah, th- this makes sense. This makes sense. If you are, uh, if you want to sell the books, why not? Right, you pay up front of a hundred, and then you get five copies. One you can keep it for yourself, so you can sell it, sell the other four later. That is a good idea. That's a good idea. And another one is one hundred fifty for signed book plus art, and the one seventy five. This is the one that everyone quote unquote should get if you are a brony and i have to say that 175 here is technically cheap 
for a original art print. <coughs> Not 100% sure on what you really get because it's limited to 20 and it's a mystery on which page you get. You might get a great page, you might not. But for this one, man, I the last time I was close to an original print was in uh, Singapore when any price came down. And I was... Oh man, how would I put this? I would have bought it if Andy had uh, a method to pay with credit cards. But he didn't. And I couldn't pay with Singapore dollars at the time. So, um, tough luck. But, in all honesty, this is something awesome. Like, 175 for print or a original page. This is the page before um, the artist sent it to uh, IDW for checking and confirmation and before coloring. And I think they scan it, something like that. But so yeah, one seventy five is totally worth it to get get it. Like you get a book, you, you get a comic book, you get a page. So it's all good, it's all good. So anyway, um uh there's more here. If you're interested, go check it out. And but I've did it that long enough, so let's move on to the second news. Alright then. So Kotobuki uh, <coughs> Rarity fully revealed and up for pre orders. So I've mentioned this a lot and if you are a fan of the Kotobukiya um, figures and if you're a fan of well ponies this is what you should really get and oh my goodness rarity you are awesome uh, so as for now uh, the rarity figure is available for pre-order and it starts around a hundred dollars or uh what eleven thousand yen something like that so <coughs> um like i mentioned before p the previous um figures the pinkie pie twilight did they come out of fluttershy i i forgot but uh, the previous figures that came out they were about the same price so this should be this shouldn't be any different and oh goodness me <laughs> Look at Rarity. L look at her. Oh my goodness. The, the detail work on this one is... Wow. I would buy this one. Like, look at her. Look look at the hair. Look at the dress. Look at the ponies. Look at the shoe. Like, wow. They put in a lot of work on this, especially the front of the dress look at that oh my goodness oh man a hundred dollars for this yeah i i i'll i would bank in some for that like yowza so i'm a little for words if you guys are collecting them you should collect this one too and if you want to start somewhere i guess rarity is not a bit place to start yeah <coughs> but let's head on to the next news because after rarity um rainbow dash is coming out so yay much awesomeness so this one is just a demo figure um pending approvals let's see yeah this one is pending approval uh from uh pending license approval final product may vary so uh, what this is is just <coughs> sorry um a sculpted figure of the design that they did but this one is not the final form uh, things could have things could uh, sorry things may change in the future maybe for goggles maybe her jacket or maybe the pony we got no idea but usually um from what we've seen most of them still sticks this uh, still sticks to the same there's no there's not much change and for this one, we get Rainbow Dash, and she's going to be about 20% cooler. So this is going to be awesome. I, I can't wait. Much fun, much fun. And, well, um, this one was revealed at the uh, New York Comic Con. And, yeah, sh sh she looks great. She looks great. If I'm not mistaken, too, they also had a Pennywise uh, reveal for... Um, 
the horror movie It, but instead of the normal Pennywise, it was the shoujo version, so um, girl version of um, Pennywise. Yeah, creepy. So let's move on to the next news, which is my mentioned before, personal for me. And yes, new limited edition official My Little Pony Cross Magic the Gathering charity card are announced. Oh my goodness, where do I even start? Let me take a drink first, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I told you guys before that I play a lot of Magic the Gathering. In fact, give me a second. I recently I, I recently bought w- a box of the latest booster, the Throne of Eldrain. Um and I got a few good cards inside. And not only that, I, I even bought all of the Brawl deck that came out. I would have I, I would show you guys but it's a bit redundant. You guys know I like playing Magic the Gathering. So <coughs> This here, yeah, with this here, oh boy, what what can I say? This is a dream come true. I, I am so amazed, man, like, wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am very happy for this one. So, <laughs> um, wait, um, let's, let's go through this, let's go through this, because, um, I'm just gonna read some of the key points here. Um, there are three total. Uh, tr- <coughs> sorry, there are three in total, uh, with Luna having an effect that transforms her into Nightmare Moon. That's not right, Sophisto. It's Nightmare Moon transforming into Luna. Oh, whatever. So yeah, um, the set of three will cost fifty dollars, with thirty dollars of that going directly to benefit the charity Extra Life, which goes to the Seattle Children's Hospital. Fun fact, the NBA show, personally myself, participated in Extra Life before. Um, we did a 24-hour gaming marathon playing... Uh, what was that game again? Um, it's from... Um, Alan Wake, yes. We played Alan Wake. It was fun. It, it was a fun game. So, anywho, um, they also have playmates available with the awesome, <laughs> with the awesome, as they are using. <coughs> so yeah, um, cards, playmats, yay! Um, ponies, the galloping will be available from October twentieth to November nineteen, two thousand nineteen. Um, so most of the things here, I'm just gonna just highlight some. Uh, contents will have silver border, double sided princess Luna slash nightmare moon, magic the gathering cards, uh, silver border princess twilight sparkle, uh, silver border rarity. Um, ship to US and Canada addresses only, limited quantity available while supplies last, available exclusive at hasbropulse.com. No refunds or returns. Uh, ponies the galloping playmats by Ultra Pro one hundred dollars. Uh, a donation. Let's see. Uh, a donator of eight donation of eighty dollar per bundle will be made to Extra Life, with benefiting Seattle Children's Hospital. <coughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But wait, there are more ways to donate. Money to extra life. So, uh, if you guys don't really want the cards, but want to donate to, um, what sees uh, or Wizards of the Coast, uh, Seattle Children's Hospital, or Extra Life, or Extra Life, you can do so at um, eBay dot com. What sees charity going live on October first? I think it's already on. Um, auctioning off twenty. So yeah, there's there's a lot of ways if you really want to donate, but if you want the cards itself, um, you can get it through Hasbro Pulse. But this is limited to addresses from the United States and Canada. 
So, sucks to be me, I guess. And what they don't highlight here is that um, if you buy this, they'll give you a code for Magic the Gathering Arena. You'll get this digital card sleeves. So you get what? Nightmare Moon, Princess Luna, Twilight Sparkle, and also Rarity. And uh, this is the website coming soon, $50 and so on. And there are already five reviews. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So yeah, a, a lot of people are really hyped for this. And uh, you can look at the cards here. <coughs> they are gorgeous looking. Anybody, any collector worth their worth in salt would want this. Not really. But I personally want this because I love Magic the Gathering. I love ponies. This is official. I really want this. But I can't. Oh my goodness. But I am trying to figure something out. Like I am trying to go get it. But one thing you can see, um, there's a big difference. If you do notice that um, this part here, the um, hologram foil to m make sure that this is an authentic card. Uh, usually it will be in an oval shape, but now it's a heart. The l a lot of these are changed for ponies. But oh my goodness, this these are awesome. These are awesome. Oh, one thing to note that these cards are not legally playable. What that means is that you cannot put you cannot use those cards or silver bordered cards for tournament play or official tournament play uh, you might be wondering then why the hell do i want to buy this card if i can't use them the thing is uh you still can play with them nobody's going to stop you um, you just have to ask your play group that hey can i use this card as my uh, mostly people are just going to use this for commander so yeah um, I'm just going to use this as my commander or my general can I use it please and yeah um, people are pe people would like just to see the gimmick just go on because uh, for rarity here you pay one and white and blue so that's a three cost uh, rare and mythic spells you cast cost one less which is really awesome and her ability is to pay one generic mana, tap her, and reveal a My Little Pony toy you own. Until end of turn, another target creature gains protection from each color in that toy's coat, mane, and outfit. Oh my goodness. You know, you can just put in Rainbow Dash. And Rainbow Dash covers the gamut of red, green, blue... Uh, black and white <laughs> so she has protection from all colors <laughs> oh my goodness this, this this is this is fun this is fun um so we have nightmare moon um, nightmare moon is a double faced card <coughs> but nightmare moon um it's a flying creature for a six cost four generic and two blacks as long as it's night time Nightmare Moon gets plus two plus two. So, uh, these cards are silly altogether because it depends on the um, time in real life. So, if you play at night, Nightmare Moon will ha will be an 8-8 eight, eight, uh, creature, which is already broken. But she has a transformation. Uh, P6, transform Nightmare Moon. Any pony may activate this ability or help pay the cost when they do they become your friend <laughs> oh my goodness okay so she transformed into princess luna um, she's black alacon creature <coughs> legendary creature alacon flying when this creature transforms into princess luna choose up to six cards you own from outside the game <laughs> with a moon in their art then exile those cards all those cards remain exiled you may cast them and your friends may cast them with your permission <laughs> 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 so <clears throat> what this is um, the ability is you pick six cards outside of the game um, meaning that sideboards or whatever that includes 
a picture of a moon and you exile them and you may cast them uh, anytime uh, I'll say it again you may cast them uh, as long as the sky okay you may cast them anytime as long as those cards are exiled Th this card is not that strong but we have to see what kind of card has pictures of the moon to abuse this ability which is pretty interesting and finally we get princess toilet sparkle this one this this one everybody wants to play this one okay uh she costs two white and a blue flying uh other alicorns horses pegasi ponies and unicorns you control get a plus one plus one and in magic the gathering there are pegasi and unicorns so you can possibly do a deck with this one so anyway um the ability is uh pay white blue black red and green if you control applejack fluttershy pinkie pie rainbow dash and rarity every pony wins the game uh technically this is hard to pull off <clears throat> and the reason why is is what do you mean by if you control applejack fluttershy pinkie pie rainbow dash and rarity like out of the five there only one is a card the other four are not unless you're gonna tell me that okay i'm gonna create a token creature that is a horse or whatever but this is rainbow dash like i use a card from uh enter play you know the enter play cards so yeah that's her and then you can go on and on but oh my goodness maybe you can do it uh, <laughs> oh my goodness oh wow I, 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 no no but technically this card is a uh, everybody wins card which is kind of str you know what i i want to build this deck I, I i want to because it's fun oh my goodness um it comes in this set with the playmat ponies <laughs> galloping oh god so um it comes in with three cards with princess uh, luna or nightmare moon having dual face cards and like i mentioned before these are the sle digital sleeves for um magic the Gather magic the gathering arena so there's codes inside you can um, use them and yeah and this one is the extra life um sleeve for 2019 Ah oh, man, this is just great, man. This is just great. Oh, I, I want this. I really want this. And, okay. I'm just going to ask you guys. If... I, I know that I don't really ask for much. I, 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 I don't. And I don't like asking. But for this one, <laughs> if it's possible, could you please get it for me? Uh, I, I, I really hate asking for this. I, I really hate begging. But in my mind right now, there's no possible way for me to get this. And I really, really want this. But anyway, um, I, I know it's going to be expensive. But I, I'll try to get it myself if it's possible. But if you guys can get it for me, that would be awesome. But if you can't, I understand. Uh, you don't really need to. But <sighs> anyway, um, next up... More great news. IDW My Little Pony Season 10 Comic Series announced. <coughs> wow. Remember when I say that, hey guys, I wish that we could have 10 years of ponies, at least Season 10, to um, make it a round number, make it a decade. But we got Season 9. So, well, uh, up to season 9, so that's, what you call this, uh, a loss, so can't do much about it. But, for this one, um, my quote-unquote dream did came true in the form of the comics. So, what this is are, from what I can understand, um, season 10 done in comic form. This doesn't really 
uh, say where in the timeline it takes place, but we could assume that uh, this is somewhere in between before the prologue ending for season nine. There is a prologue, by the way. <coughs> um, let's just see the uh, press. Uh, IDW announced. Uh, My Little Pony comic will start season ten. Uh, ap- season ten in April. So technically, it's just about the same time as the show. Um, the comics will be the vein will be in the vein of Buffy the Vampire Slayer season eight and X Files season ten from Dark Horse. The series will continue the story of the show. There will be overarching story, overarching story arcs, and since a slice of <laughs> and slice of life story, season ten will also feature new and returning comic characters. Such as oh creators, my bad. Such as Andy Price, who had a cover for season ten show at the panel. <coughs> Clearly, the comic side of things, Pony isn't going anywhere. The story is developing. Please check f- up for updates. Yep. So, this one is a lot of wow, a lot of wow. Uh, I I quote unquote got my wish. So season ten will be done in comic form. So, um, <coughs> my prediction for this one is that uh, they're going to use, or they're going to lean heavily on the show canon instead of comic canon. And what I mean by that is that some characters that we know from the comics, um, whose Stygian's great great grandson. Um, from the comics a while back oh, I forgot but long story short the comic here or season 10 here will mostly lean on the show canon so meaning that there's going to be a lot of confusion on what's going to happen here <coughs> remember when we say that hey um, there's a split canon between show and uh, a tier, which is show, and B tier, which is everything else. And what <coughs> what everything else means, uh, it's comics, novels, and also whatever is between. And for this scenario here, um, the comic here for season 10 is going to lean heavily on tier A, which is the show. That's my prediction, by the way. So, things here are going to be very interesting. And um, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, the comic, is still running. Um, There's also the Student 6 comic line that is still currently going. And I think that's about it for now. There's uh, things that are being published right now. Um... In all honesty, uh, this this is awesome. Um, this is adding more fuel to the fire, and we got no idea how many issues this is going to run. Uh, we thought that the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comic <coughs> is predicted to going run for about a hundred issues, and we are on issue nine. No, eight. I think what I think we're on issue eighty. I I I don't remember, but the the idea is or the prediction is that uh, one. Yeah, sorry, we are on an eighty-two now. So the thing is right now our our prediction or my prediction is um, once the friendship is magic comic issue hits a hundred, and then it will end there and continue on with season ten. And season 10, uh, we got no idea how many issues there are going to be. Um, depending on what's the story and what's the thing, maybe another 100 issues possibly. I, I hope so. But if not, um, we'll probably get around something to the 
maybe what uh, 25 or so on issues so yeah um i am clearly at a loss for words because this is something i really wanted and this is something awesome and anyway <coughs> that's the news for this week guys i am really happy and excited this news week has <laughs> this news week is awesome i i really need this i really need this in my life so anyway, um let's move on to the next topic <coughs> so uh this week nothing much happened except for more magic the gathering i've um sorry the throne of eldrain officially released and i got a booster box i got a booster box and i got a few good cards inside yes um, i bought the brawl decks so uh, what brawl is um it's commander mini where you play with a deck of 60 cards and start your life at 20 like a normal magic game uh, usually commander games start you at 100 card deck with uh, 40 life to start <coughs> but anywho um magic the good ring is on yet end so yeah i i bought boosters i play a lot of magic <coughs> um other than that doing a lot of work and stuff and my health has been oh, steadily rising that's good some of the cough are still there i notice that when it's cold or at night i start the cough so uh, i i may need to I, I say that but i really do i really need to visit my local doctor and see what i can do about it but overall i'm okay i'm healthy so if you guys are worried don't worry i'm i'm good i'm good uh you know honestly the magic the good ring pony thing has really really gotten my attention like i want that man ah uh, um <laughs> funny story uh we when we were playing or when i was playing at the my, my local lgs my local LGS, yeah. My no LG local local yeah whatever. When I was going to my card game shop, um, some of my friends asked, "Are you hyped for the pony cards?" And I say, "Yeah, I, I am hyped. I, I am really hyped." And the the thing is, they know that I'm a fan of the show. I I wear shirts and so on. And this one here, this one is kind of interesting. <coughs> I, I didn't really told him fully what I thought about the set, but you know honestly, charity, yay! I I'll pay up front fifty just to get this thirty. You can put it into extra life, yeah. But you know honestly, I just want to give more. But that's besides the point. Um, the set itself is really awesome. They did this way back when with uh, the Transformers. Uh, they had Grimlock and uh, stuff. It, it was more, quote unquote, serious with what they did. Not much. Th th there's still one um, card that asks you to transform a uh, robot or transformers and stuff. <coughs> there's still joke cards like that. And for this one, oh man, this this one's really awesome. This one's really awesome. I I wish I can get it. And yeah, I would personally build a deck around this one. It would be so much fun. And yeah, um, other than that, uh, I, I didn't really tell them what I think. But I'm just going to tell you guys. This set here is awesome. Uh, discounting the legality of playing this card in a proper game. This card is just cool and awesome. You You get to create or you get to build a deck or a commander deck around silliness <coughs> uh, with nightmare moon you put aside six m cards with moon in the art and i can already think of some like there's a card called blood moon where all of your non-basic land are considered mountains they only generate red mana so that is already broken and <laughs> Yeah, that, that's already broken. Uh, Rarity herself. If you have a Rainbow Dash trigger, yay, you already 
um, have protection of, with colors. Twilight Sparkle herself. What does it mean if you control Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow, Dash, and Rarity? Like, you only have Rarity. You don't have the others. <laughs> They're not gonna... Are they going to do a set? I mean, if they do, yay! Uh, but I, I think the reason why... Yeah, I mean, th there's a lot, man. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> man, I really wanted this. So anyway, uh, yeah, um, I've been dilly dallying. So anyway, um, let's head on to well the end. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the sh twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Um, and also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on FunnyVerLife.com. Also link, uh, yeah, links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Doterra, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics and specials. And sometimes we like to do other things like anime. One of the few animes that we are doing right now is Little Witch Academia. So, okay, that's a fun one, that's a fun one. And yeah, go, go, go ahead, go, go subscribe if you want a portable version of that. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast. Reviews, yeah, yeah I'm sorry, uh, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. Oh, man. I, 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 I am so blessed that you guys are um, supporting me in this way. But that doesn't mean that you guys who are listening to the YouTube right now, you guys are also awesome too for listening liking and also commenting i read all of those comments that you put good and bad i take the comments and sorry i, I take those creative or oh, what's the word i'm looking for um constructive criticism and do changes to it um remember the how the show is where i didn't have this whole setup with the webcams and whatnot. You said that you wanted to see what I was talking about, and I did. Thank you so much. And well, those kind of comments, creative, uh, constructive, creative, <laughs> constructive criticism, really helps me a lot. And thank you so much. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.